Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11, I believe, of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem uh, and all this stuff. Uh, I have a really weird hat here, don't I? <laughs> uh, let me know what, how is everyone doing. Uh, weekend is here. I am, for one, excited. Uh, I am doing a rest week for, for in terms of my gym, so uh, hopefully, you know, get that excitement back to doing squats and stuff. Go still trying to do three plates. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, yeah. Why didn't Why didn't I click on this? All right, let's see. Let's click on this. Seems like I haven't done it yet, so it'll be exciting. But uh, I'm gonna do another premium question afterwards. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you have premium. If you don't even, or you just want to see Larry suffer a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's take a look. Eleven twenty nine. Shortest path with alternating colors. So you're given an integer and a number of nodes. Okay, that sounds reasonable so far. Also, again, let me know if the sound is okay. I've been kind of playing around with it. I don't know if the, if the mic is busted or I'm busted or I don't know. One of these things. Who knows how technology works anymore? Um, I feel like it used to be. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like something is a little bit up. Hmm. Is that the data is not using my real mic? I don't know. No, don't use the. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's using my. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's not using my mic, maybe. I have to figure out how to. Um, hmm. That is actually interesting. Oh. What? Maybe that's why. All right. Hmm. Oh, that is why. Wow. All right, friends. Uh, <laughs> you might. I, I. I'm trying to keep it live, so I don't know if if you're watching this, then maybe fast forward a little bit while I try to figure it out. Um, it's. I think it's because I put because I installed a new version of Mac OS, and I think it has like some permission that I have to install or something, or I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to, my, microphone, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It's a little bit. What? Cannot set it. What does that even mean? Huh? Maybe that's why it's been so low, huh? Or like, or at least low. I don't know if it's low, but it or you know, people have been complaining a little bit, uh, and now it makes sense, huh? Man, technology, how does this work and why? Why can't you just let me use a iPhone microphone? That is just silly. Mac Pro microphone, sound setup, input, okay. How do I, hmm. I hmm, have to like unplug it and replug it, hang on. I mean, it's plugged, but maybe the, Maybe it's just not, maybe it's not plugged in. Hang on, friends. Uh, technology, how does it work? Uh. Yeah, it's not really detecting my mic. And I've been, man, that's why I was kind of debugging my mic for a while. And I guess it's just not viewing it as plugged in. All right, friends, I'm going to do this offline. Sorry. Um, but let's do this problem this hopefully this will be the last video where this the sound is a little bit low so my apologies I hope everyone's having a more interesting weekend than this idiot here uh me i'm the idiot in case you're wondering but anyway all right let's see 1129 shortest path with alternating colors all right um so you have red edges and blue edges red sub i is equal to do some notes and blue edges is some blue edge okay so you have red edges and then okay and then what are we trying to do each edge is red. Okay, we know that. Okay, there could be sub edges and parallel edges. Okay, return answer of length n. N is the number of nodes. The shortest path from node zero from two x such that edge colors alternate along the path, or negative one if such a path does not exist. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of reading maybe and a lot of silliness, but in the end of the day, it's still going to be uh, a breath first search. Problem. What? What? We, oh wait. Maybe I misread this. Hang on. A read. Oh, I thought it was going to be answer sub i is the length of the shortest path from nodes. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's still going to be a shortest path problem. Um, and then you have to do the length. 
And yeah, basically you just have two graphs. Um, I think the way to think about this problem, and uh, let me bring it up real quick. Is that, um, I think it's, I mean, you can kind of, uh, sorry, I have to join stuff up, hang on. Yeah, so I think it's easy to kind of, they, they, like I'm, I'm trying to go over the visualization right now, and I think the easy visualization is just make two graphs of the same thing, right? Um, I think, and you can implement this in an implicit way later on as you have more and more um, deeper understanding about stuff like this. But first, I would say, let's say that you know there are no, three nodes, one, two, three, right? And then the idea is that is create a duplicate uh, set of nodes, you know, one uh, prime, say. Uh, three prime and two prime and then yeah and then basically you can imagine that you know you have red edges that goes to uh, maybe well I guess one to one is fine and then go to here and then you have another edges that goes from say three to you know the other ones right um and and you can and once you kind of uh create this alternate graph or uh, um alternate graph where you doubled every node, then it becomes easier to see how you can do straight breadth of search because now you have a bipartite graph by construction and then you just kind of go back and forth in that thing. So now you have two N in the number of nodes to visit and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then of course you have to maybe we you know collect the data in such a way that you can get the answer in a straightforward way. But that's how I would do it. Um, okay, so let's, let's get started. Um, I guess I always like to end oh i like big ends um okay so okay so yeah so the first we may do something like um i mean we need to definitely you know we we is you go to collections dot uh default basically i'm just converting them to uh an edge list and i guess in this case we can actually use um use a function or something like that right like parse red edges lazy names but you know <coughs> right and then years ago to collection start list and then we return ye but before that for you we and ye this these are directed okay just want to make sure so then ye of you dot append v right um and then that's pretty much the idea um okay and then we start so there are two things, right? One is that we can start by taking a red edge, and then the other way is to start by taking a blue edge. So we have to be be aware of both of those things as well. Um, not you know, not, not as long as you're aware of it, I think it it doesn't. It's a it's a minor complication. It doesn't make it that difficult. I don't think so. Yeah, um, and we start from zero, right? So then we just do a breadth search from zero. So let's set up the queue. Um, yeah, and then basically, maybe we could even write this in a slightly cheesed way, which is that we can put this in terms of um, an array, right? So then here, we can just say maybe something like this, right? So now we have E as the edges, or maybe even call it edges, say, right? And then basically, uh, yeah, and then you have an NQ, and this is just regular NQ of a node, Let's go and node and maybe the color. And you could kind of think about this in a different way. Um, in that, in that, you know, maybe the color of the node is the last, or you could say that uh in here the state maybe is not necessarily the color of the node, but the color that you last used, right? Meaning that if your last color is blue, then your next color has to be red and so forth. You can also think about it the other way where you know if the last edge you use as boo, then that node is boo, but, you know, these are just things that you can visualize in your head, but, um, you know, it doesn't really change the code even that much, but, but uh, having a consistent uh, and good uh, visualization will allow you to kind of, you know, like, uh, well, one is that, you know, you could implement it cleanly the first time, but also if you run into issues of off by ones, having that visualization will help you be like, oh, wait, this doesn't line up with my visualization, right? So, yeah. So anyway, um, um, 
Uh, maybe that also needs a distance. I forget. Right, and then maybe best of no color, or maybe put away. Like color first. Right, and then here we maybe set something like best. It's like, N isn't that big, right? I didn't even look at it, but N is 100, so I don't worry about it. Uh, is equal to none times um, F N, is it? Yeah. Right. And then now, uh, yeah, let's enqueue the first one, the distance node zero, and the color of zero. And then we also do it for one. Maybe this could be a for loop. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, fine. C in range of two, say something like this. Right? C for color, slightly cleaner in case we need to extend to more colors. But um, yeah, and then this is just standard uh, breadth search stuff. So distance node color is equal to uh, q dot pop left, right? And then now, um, yeah. And then now we just look at the edges. So for we in edges of node color, and I think I did color first. So yeah. Um, then now we want to see what is. So V is going to be the next node. Color is going to be, so we can even just call it new color. Is you go to something like this, right? Is it two minus one? Or one minus zero, whoops. Yeah. Um, and then, I guess maybe that's it, right? Uh, so yeah, if best of new color V is none, then we Q distance plus one new uh, we and a new color um and that's pretty much it really i think um and then now we just have, need an answer where for i in range of n right um hmm, maybe this could be infinity then because then it makes the other part a little bit easier i mean it's not a big deal right so then now uh ends a pen min of uh, uh, maybe maybe uh, same idea min of uh what, what am i doing min of maybe i should have done best the other way then anyway uh da, 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 i and then best of the well basically the two colors uh this is the min right and then if min is equal to infinity then min is equal to negative one and then we just do that and then we return answer afterwards all right <laughs> uh, all right, do we not uh, go to the right place? Hmm. That's you, wait, maybe. Let's take a look to see if we actually pop things off. Maybe I have a little typo somewhere. Oh, I don't, up no, I do update this. Looks okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, no, but it doesn't, hmm. Did I mess this up? Like, why is it not queuing everything? Yeah, it's not saying the nodes that are connecting from 0 to 1. So maybe I put my parser as well. Hmm. I mean, probably, but let's see. Minor things, debugging things. Uh, yeah, we're not returning anything. What, what, what is here? Oh. Wow, that is silly. <laughs> it's a typo. All right, so looks good. Uh, man, so many typos with my code lately. I feel like I've been just really, I don't know. Uh, just having a rough time. All right, let's give a quick submit. Hopefully I didn't have any weird answers. Yeah, all right, looks good. Like I said, breath first search, this is going to be um, linear time, linear space, where lin is v plus e, uh, and yeah, uh, I mean, it's going to be at least E because we parse each edge at least once to kind of convert this thing. And then linear time because of this, you know, we have we have to look at least each, I mean, you know, uh, yeah, we plus E but for search. Um, and you could say it's two times we plus E, but obviously it gets taken out by the big O. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I'm going to fix the mic off screen. So sorry, if, hopefully this is the last 
video where the mic is a little bit low. But yeah, um, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon and take care. Bye-bye.